This book is called Thelma the Unicorn by Aaron Blabby. Or Blabby? Blab? Yeah. Oh, I'll get that soon. Thelma the Unicorn. Oh, yummy. Look at those cats. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Hmm. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, oh, I'm not. She imagines herself like that. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. Woo! She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work. Who knows? Mm -hmm. There's Otis. Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? It's like, what? And she's like, hmm, hello. Is that a unicorn? <laughs> All that paint and glitter. Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud, and so a star was born. Oh, they were taking photos. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Oh, look, I'm famous. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. She's on a boat called the Fairy Princess. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. Mm. There she is, amongst the crowd. Oh, too many people. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get her autograph. We love you. In fact, they'd chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. <gasps> She's back home. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she shopped. Oh no. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. Hmm. And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest things she'd really ever seen. What was eating? Oh no. Look, she says, unicorns are dumb. I agree. And there's a face. Oh, how could you be so mean? So one dark night, she felt quite sad. This famous little pony, she said, I thought that I'd feel great. But all I feel is lonely. Mm, she misses her friend. And so with that, she changed her mind, this lonely unicorn. She cleaned off all her sparkles, and she ditched her magic horn. All clean. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. She thought how nice that it would be. There she is. Mimi, help me be a unicorn. So she thought, how nice would it be to see her lovely Otis. Oh. She went back home. And when he asked about her trip beneath their favourite tree, she simply said, oh, it was fun. It was very fun, but I'd rather just be me. Hmm. Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. They're crunching the yummy carrots. Yeah, it's best just to be yourself. Thelma the Unicorn. That's a good book.